Where does quantum theory apply? Most people think that quantum physics is somehow hidden in everyday life and only matters for atoms and other small particles. Well, that's not entirely wrong, but let's take a closer look. If quantum physics applies to atoms and everything is made out of atoms, shouldn't it apply everywhere? Take air, for example. Mostly nitrogen and oxygen. It can be described extremely well by classical physics alone mechanics and thermodynamics. But if you change just the environment, suddenly quantum effects can emerge. If you cool down molecular oxygen enough, it becomes magnetic. You can also create interference effects with ultra-cold atom beams of nitrogen and oxygen. So if air can sometimes be quantum and sometimes not, what really makes a difference? What exactly is the line between quantum and classical physics? First, we have the de Broglie wavelength, which depends on the mass and energy of particles. This is the rough size of the matter wave of the particle. If this wavelength is comparable to the relevant distances of a system, wave behavior appears. I.e. we get quantum effects. One important factor here is mass. Small masses have a significant wavelength, so it's broadly true that quantum objects need to be small. Also, low energies cause quantum behavior. So, for example, low temperature systems. However, natural temperatures on Earth can never get this low. We need machines for that, like quantum computers, for example. Second, decoherence time. Whenever a quantum object, like an atom, in some way interacts with the environment, for example by scattering a photon, it loses its phase coherence. This means it can no longer show quantum effects like interference. So quantum objects also need to be well isolated. Fundamentally, everything is quantum. However, large systems with lots of interactions show very little of this and are effectively classical. But this is only ever an approximation. The universe is quantum in nature, it's just not always visible. Subscribe for more quantum physics.